All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So last night, Global got a new data download. And in today's video, we're gonna find out exactly what it was all about. Now, before we get into it, I wanna give a shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here. And we're starting with the assets for the upcoming Extreme Z battle event for Tech Hit, which is starting in about 14 to 15 hours from the time this video comes out. And we will talk about exactly what he does in a second. So there you go. And we also have the, of course, Extreme Z Awakening medals for Hit as well. Uh, bronze, silver, gold, and rainbow. And from there, apparently there were also some corrections to Tech Hit's Super Attack Phrase font size. So, from what I can tell, they basically made the top part a little bit smaller, and then, of course, capitalized the bottom part for more emphasis, more impact, I guess. So that was the change. And they also uh, adjusted the French, the... I think this is Korean. I'm gonna say Korean. I'm not 100% sure though. And also the Chinese. So there you go. And uh, lastly, we have the new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History. Stage 16 versus Super Warrior Tag Teams. And this is the map. Pretty standard. And uh, that was essentially all there was to this uh, data download. We got Tech Hits Extreme Z Awakening. Extreme Z Battle Event, some adjustments to his Super Attack text, and uh, also the new Infinite Dragon Ball History Stage, Stage 16. Now, from here, let's pop over to the uh, Dokkan Wiki, where we'll go over the Extreme Z Awakening details for Tech Hit. So, starting with his pre-Extreme Z Awakening details, his leader skill is Universe 6 Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense Plus 170%, or Universe Survival Saga Key Plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 150%. Super attack, immense damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. And passive is attacked enemies attack minus 20% and defense minus 80%. For two turns, high chance to stun the attacked enemy for one turn. Attack plus 120% when performing a super attack. Plus an additional attack plus 80%. And attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned. So, obviously one thing that is clearly missing is defense. He doesn't have any defense whatsoever, and that was why he was so bad. I mean, I think the intent when they designed this unit was that if you're stunning the enemy so much, you're probably not taking too many hits. But there are a lot of enemies in this game now that can't be stunned, right? So when you're facing one of those enemies, this guy uh, was basically screwed. So. Of course, with the Extreme Z Awakening, they did address that quite a bit. So, uh, leader skill is now Universe 6 category, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or Universe Survival Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 160%. Super attack raises defense for one turn, causes events damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy, and passive is attack and defense uh, plus 20%. Per universe 6 category ally attacking at the same turn medium chance of stunning all enemies when all allies attacking at the same turn are of universe 6 category characters plus an additional attack and defense plus 160 percent when performing a super attack plus an additional attack plus 80 percent and attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned attacked enemies attack minus 20 percent and defense minus 80 percent for two turns and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy for one turn. And some additional information about him, his average chance of stunning is 65% with a super attack, which is obviously very good. And his additional boosts are calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 316%. When performing a super attack, when all allies attacking the same turn are universe six category characters, an attack plus 444% when the target enemy is stunned. So his offensive potential is definitely very, very high now. He can hit really, really hard in the right situation. And his defense after he supers 
is uh, really good. Honestly, if you do the calculations, uh, from what I've seen, after he supers, he should be around 300,000 defense, which, you know, is still going to get you hurt in like the GT Legendary Goku event against a Super Saiyan 4 Goku super attack, for example. Like, he still can be hurt, but for most things in this game, he's going to hold up just fine after he supers. He's still not going to be good uh, in the first slot because obviously he gets most of his boost from the super attack, right? The 160% attack and defense when performing a super. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. I really just wish there were more good slot one units in this game. I mean, I guess we are kind of trending in that direction where the more recent units have been pretty good slot one units, but this guy is not one of them. But with that said, he is really, really good now, so I can't really complain too much. And uh, as far as his stats go, uh, they get a very significant boost. So at rainbow status, after the Extremes the Awakening, his HP goes up to 22,292, attack is 20,226, and defense is 10,562. So about a 4,000 increase in attack, uh, about 3,000 increase in HP, and about 3,000 increase in defense, which makes him much more tanky and hit much, much harder. And of course, his super attack also goes up to level 15 now. From level 10 so that is the tech hit for you guys um i can't wait for this extreme z awakening i can't wait to actually be able to use him again you know so uh yeah that's hit so moving on to his extreme z battle event just some quick details for you guys the weakness is the all out struggle category and uh, as you go through the stages of course you get his medals you get some tech orbs and you get one dragon stone for every clear after level 3, there is additional damage reduction of 60% against all extreme type units. So ideally, you want to run a full super type team, right? And then after level 9, SSR characters are lower and only cause 2 million damage or less. So this was instituted so that people couldn't use uh, Devil Man to nuke the stages, right? And after level 12, there's additional damage reduction of 70% against AGL types and extreme types. After level 19, there's additional 80% damage reduction against AGL, tech, and extreme types. And uh, that is pretty much it for the rest of the event. Once you do everything, you get up to 30 Dragon Stones, 11 Tech Grand Kai's, enough Tech Orbs to rainbow a Tech Unit, and all of the Extreme Z Awakening medals we need to fully Extreme Z Awaken tech hit. You also have a few extra missions for 4 extra stones, so in theory you can get 34 stones from this event. And uh, here's a quick look at the All Out Struggle category. The main leader is the LR Blue Boys, but uh, if you really need to, you could bring just a really good Super Int team. That should also work. And uh, that is the Extreme Z Battle event. Now lastly, let's quickly look at the new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history, which is stage 16 versus Super Warrior Tag Teams, or uh, Joined Forces characters, essentially. So the first enemy is the Goku and Bulma. Then we have uh, Yamcha and Puar, Tian and Chiaotzu, the Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, uh, Super Saiyan Goten and Trunks, Kale and Khalifla, the Blue Boys, and finally, the GT Trio. So eight enemies in total. And if you want to complete all the missions, you need to have three units in the Join Forces category on your team and three units in the Bond of Friendship category on your team. Obviously, these can be completed on separate runs. So uh, that is Stage 16, guys. And that does it for today's data download video. Big shout out once again to Proton10MG on Twitter for posting the assets. Definitely go follow him. And that's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, 
awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.